Hello friends, today I'm going to start a whole new series on watercolor which is going to be absolutely beginner friendly. Today will be the first uh, video in the series in which I will uh, let you know the basic materials that we need to start with. We do not need to go into complicated details about materials. This will be a point where we are going to be focused on how you can begin playing with watercolors. And um, so let's just start going. A lot of beginners find it difficult to know where to start. So here in this video, I want to show you the basic materials that are required with which you can start your watercolor journey. I will be keeping the material list really simple, something that is really good to start with. And if when we once we go ahead in our journey, there is a, a plethora of products that you can pick up, the paints, brushes, paper, the variety now is unlimited. But in this video, our aim will be to just have the basics with which we can just start. So let's get started. For watercolors, what you will require is watercolor paper. Something to paint on. So the watercolor papers are again a lot of uh, variety, but we'll stick to the basics. I have this to show you. This is Brustro Artist watercolor paper, and it is 100% cotton and an assorted bag. So for beginners, it will be really nice to get to know what all uh, different variety of paper is available. There are three types of variety. Uh, one is hot pressed, one is cold pressed and rough. You can see, you, you can make out with the texture. The texture of hot pressed will be absolutely smooth and this is cold pressed. Cold pressed will be medium tooth, it will have some grains if you can see and the rough. The rough paper will be more rough than rougher than the uh, cold press so these are the three basic varieties what we can start with is the cold press it is good to go for all beginners and in fact I paint the most with the with cold press only. okay so next in line is two brushes again again with brushes the variety is unlimited, but I'm going to show you very basics. I have some brushes here. I'll share the links in the uh, description box. See, for brushes, you can pick up any brushes. It's better if you find a watercolor brush, which says watercolor brush. But otherwise, for beginners, it is fine to pick up some brush which has a nice tip and a nice fat belly something like these and a set of three like this is a great place to start with number 12 a number 8 and number 1 or anything which is in the smaller thinner range okay I have another set which I use a lot uh, this came in a set of three size 12 size 8 and size 4 this is a little expensive however it's really a good investment and lot of watercolor artists use this brush so you can go with any next let's go over to paints now for watercolor paints let's be very clear it should be watercolors no other paints there are a lot of 
different paints available something is called as gouache something is called as poster colors something is called as acrylic for watercolor we need water colors and they come in a lot of varieties again so we'll stick to the basics you can either get them in tubes and uh, you'll be able to squeeze out a little and use it the other way it comes is in the form of pads it comes like this in the form of pads again lot of variety but i'm just showing you one in this set i have some eight colors they are the colors are dried and put in pans and when we want to use it you can just wet it wet a little bit and take it to another place or another palette and then mix and use so uh, the pan sets are very good for if you want to travel and use uh, it's very good so that and tube colors are my all time favorite because every time you you want to take out some paint you will get very un um, what is that not contaminated very fresh color every time you'll get a little bit and you can use that lot of people even take out these paints into pans and dry them so that they can use them it can be rewet just like pans so that's about colors okay so basically you will need to just invest in these three things to start your watercolor journey apart from the, this everything else you will be having at home and you can start off what what we require is a palette to start putting your paints and color mixing I'm using a ceramic plate from home. I find it most useful to use a ceramic uh, plate. You know, you can find it at home. Then you require a tissue paper. Anything just white is fine. This is what I already had at home. and you will require a container of water it is watercolor so we will require a container of water for washing your brush brushes mixing colors everything however i would suggest you have two containers of water from the very beginning if you start uh, inculcating this habit of having two containers it will be really great how do we use the two containers mostly there are two ways you can use it one you can use them as cool colors and warm colors and another way is one for washing the brushes so we call it the dirty water container and clean water container where you'll pick up clean water so there are two ways you can use it you can just have one container and go with it and as the water gets dirty you can just change it you can have a sketchbook where you can just practice brush strokes we get a lot of variety of sketchbooks uh some of them are watercolor sketchbooks some some of them are just sketchbooks but for practicing you can always go ahead with picking up any sketchbook so that you can just start practicing your brushes start you know fiddling with your brushes like that i do a lot of practice on sketchbooks So that's all. You just require these things to get started. So I hope now you are clear with the materials that we are going to be using. We know the basic material that we need to start our watercolor journey. So if you are new here and you have found me, please do subscribe so that we can continue this journey together. So see you in the next video.